So here we are at I Love Microgreens. This is Jesse and Lindsay. And you all grow your microgreens out at Springbrook. Yep. In one of the old hangars? Um, it's one barracks. of the, a barracks. A barracks, oh. Yeah, in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> oh, in the basement of a barracks. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you get started growing microgreens? Uh, we worked on an organic farm. And we've always grown our own vegetables and just thought we saw there was microgreens in Calgary and we thought we could bring that to Red Deer in Central Alberta. Yeah. There's nobody growing microgreens at the time or from our research, so we thought might as well do it ourselves. And yeah, we started bring growing. It up here. We started growing kind of for our own family, yeah. just to try it out, see how we liked it. So we thought, why not share it? <laughs> so it's healthy. It's local. Yeah. It's and it's varied. Like my wife and I have bought the is it brassica. Uh, brassica. Brassica? I always yeah. get it wrong. Yeah. And she likes the spicier ones, the tangy radish. ones, the radish. Yeah. And uh, one time I think I mentioned to you before that she, we had cut them down or cut them off and used them and she was going to throw them out and sort of procrastinate and all of a sudden they grew back. Yeah. <laughs> so we got at least a second a second round. So let me, you know, what, what have we got here? This is beet grass. Beet grass. Yeah, wheat. Oh. Wheat, yeah. Wheat grass. I gotta get my ears clean. Yeah, yeah a lot of people <laughs> will cut it and juice it. Um, so we do have cancer patients that will purchase to juice and take shots. And it's it's um, because it's high in chlorophyll. It's a blood cleaner, so it's supposed to help. With high in chlorophyll blood cleaner helps. Yeah. Okay. Now this is something that's relatively new: is grow your own microgreens. Yeah. Oh, okay. As well, that we put together. So, and then of course you can choose whether it's pea shoots, red radish, corn shoots, sunflower, purple, kohlrabi, or brassica mix. Correct. Now, what's this? So this is just a display of a little of everything. Yeah. So this is our red radish, our brassica mix. Yeah. Um, and the kohlrabi. It, it's really pretty because you can see the iridescent purple. So it's a purple kohlrabi. And then these are sunflowers. Sunflowers. They're still young. They're a little sparse and young. So. Baby sunflowers. So normally what we do is we just come and we buy yeah. one of these. In the container. And our containers are compostable as well because I wanted to source plastic that wasn't going to become a waste. I wanted something environmentally friendly, friendly because we are, our goal is to be low waste, sustainable company. Low impact. Low impact company. So, you guys do the yeah. tighten up there here. I was worried about the sound on these things because it's a little noisy and this is not exactly high tech machinery. Um, so, you're selling here at the market, but you've also mentioned that you're getting out into some of the restaurants in Red Deer and other places as well. Right. So, they would be did you mention Tribe? Yeah, we're working with Tribe. Yeah. yeah? And Pure Earth Organics, is that down in the Cronquist Park. Business Park? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then hopefully others, I guess? Hopefully, yeah. Right. We're working on a couple others. So yeah. We'll yeah. We've we'll been working with, <laughs> talking with some restaurants. So we're yeah. hoping to grow that and expand. Well, it's all about yeah. growing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Gonna be, you are gonna be